Well, it's National Taco Day, and we are going to help you celebrate with a delicious recipe from one of our favorite chefs. Please welcome back to the show, Chris Valdez. Chris, we're very excited. Happy I'm National so excited Taco to be here. Day. Na so. National Taco Day on Taco Tuesday. Yes, it's so yes. perfect. It's serendipitous. National we're making, Taco what are we making? Tuesday. It was meant to happen. We're going to make some carne asada tacos mm. Mm. with some pico de gallo. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so if you want to help me uh, cut some uh, onions right there, and we're going to make the marinade. And the okay. marinade is what brings that sabor, that, that little you know, mm. seasoning that's going to go inside our meat. Uh, so we're going to start by uh, squeezing some onions. Okay. I'm squeezing some, some, some lines. He's cutting the onions, and I'll squeeze, squeeze the juice. Yes. yes, so squeeze the juice. And actually, Kelly, that's great right there. So we're using sour oranges, but if we don't have sour oranges, we're going to use a mix of orange juice, of oranges and limes. Okay. okay. And then Sour citrus. oranges. Yes. So and then we're also going to add some of this ajo, garlic. Mm -hmm. It's also Hispanic heritage, so I like saying things in Spanish. Yes, you Good. should. Yes. So As ajo. You should. And also when I get angry, I scream it in Spanish just for this one. Oh, oh. Perfect. Por qué hiciste eso? Like on the Vela style. Very good. And we're going to add some chipotle salsa. Okay. It's going to add a little, a little smokiness mm. in there. Yes. And we're going to mix this up. And we need a little more juice here. I'm going to have a little juice. I, I wasn't sure if, how much juice. Ryan, you, have you nice been going acidity. to the gym? This is a good workout uh, right here. Uh, you have to ask? Uh, oh. <laughs> really? Oh. oh. Aren't the, is it I the guess in that case, parents? I mean, I'll can't just, you tell? <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Uh, All right. I yeah, that's going to give it a nice sweet flavor with the acidity of the lime. So once we mix that, we're going to Add right. this marinade to our steak okay, right here. Okay, it's coming on. And we're going to do a little What swap. kind of steak is that? We're using a flank. Flank steak? A flank, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. And by the way, you know, you could also use some churrasco. You could use some flat meat. Mm. That's fine. And this is how it ends. We want to marinate this for two to four hours two or four overnight. Hours. So okay. that's not cooked, just marinated. It's, it's just marinated. Okay. okay. So it's, it's just, you know, getting that flavor. Yeah, yeah, that's it's it's sinking mm. in. Cast iron skillet or grill. Okay. Heat it up. Once it's throwing some smoke, we're going to add a little bit of oil. Okay. And we're going to season this with some salt, if you want to help me with the salt. Season this? Yes. A little salt, a little black pepper. Beautiful. And then we're going to add this to our cast iron skillet. And we want to hear a nice little... Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> What's the Spanish word Give me for a that? Beat. Buenísimo. <laughs> Buenísimo. <laughs> so we're going to let this cook for about five, seven minutes until it's nice and golden brown. And once it's ready, we're going to give it a flip. And this is what we end up with. Nice flip. Okay, mm -hmm. let's take a break while it cooks. We'll be right back and finish it up on National Taco Day. <laughs> National Taco Day, Chef Chris Valdez. We are back making the pick of the gallo. You say always serve it fresh. Always so serve it fresh. And the key to a good taco is freshness. Warm mm -hmm. tortillas. Mm -hmm. If you can make them fresh, go for it. Um, so we're going to make our pico de gallo. Oh, you squirted it there, Kelly. Sorry, so, I'm sorry. We're going to so chop the cilantro? Uh, or yes. Is it so we chopping. have some chopped right here. So uh, our pico de gallo right. is basically like a tomato salsa. Some tomatoes, some cilantro, garlic, some mm -hmm. onions, some jalapeno. Mm -hmm. If you want it a little spicier, yeah, add some Yeah, everybody seed. wants it spicy. And we have, once we have everything, I'm ready to make my taco. Okay. okay. Here's our pico de gallo. Yum. You know? yum, yum, yum. And you know what I love about tacos? We have some tortillas there. I like making a spread like this at home and inviting the family and some mm -hmm. friends and making a spread like this because this brings people together family in the style. kitchen. Great this conversation. Is, tacos is a great idea for that. So we have some steak. Look Do you typically uh, grill your tortillas first? I warm, like them, warm up them up in up? a little skillet mm -hmm. on both sides. Mm -hmm. So... And look that. at these little onions, <laughs> uh, Ryan, the ones that you cut up. Oh, those are, oh they're going to be nice and sweet it's, and caramelized. A nice little right? sweetness. This I like mine a little warm. Okay. So, and with tacos, you can make so many different kinds of tacos, too. You know, we're doing carne asada, but you can nowadays, do so many different things. And you could even make some vegan tacos, and you could add uh, some uh, fajita tacos just with peppers and onions. So I'm going to add some pico de gallo. Okay. You share a little right here? Oh, yes. Get a bite some of that. Of, thank now, you. you. For let me this you one recipe, more. you can go to kellyandryan.com. Absolutely delicious looking. I'm going to load thank mine up. so much. Taste. Cheers. And Chef Chris Valdez, Cheers. thank Cheers. you Cheers. for coming. We'll be right back here on live. If you would like to try Chris's recipe, just log on to our website at kellyandryan.com.